one will remember your name. So I want to do something on Onision kind of Speaks I haven't done in a while, and that's just have a real no editing kind of video. Uh, first off, I just wanted to announce Onision Encore, if you're familiar with that channel, and Oni Chan are scheduled for deletion. Uh, maybe in the next four months within that time. I'm trying to narrow my channels down to Onision Archive, Onision, Onision Speaks, Uh Oh Bro, and uh, Onision Games. Um, Onision Reacts is out of commission right now because somebody uh, somebody was upset with that channel, we'll just say. Uh, quite a few somebodies. Um, but that channel, I hope, will come back eventually too. <sighs> Flies. It's the time of the year when there's insects all over the place. Summer. It's coming. And I don't think there'll be any White Walkers, probably just like Gangudo girls. Anyway, um, let's get to the point. Today I wanted to talk about uh, not just parenting, but just like kids in general. Um, I don't have to be a parent to talk about this. I don't have to not be a parent to talk about this. Um, I wanted to talk about mostly taking responsibility for your actions. A lot of times we, as people, take the convenient route. We try not to take blame for the things that we do, and that's because it makes us feel better. And when I say us, I mean you guys because I'm better than everybody. No. But what I do mean by this is I'm talking about other people in this context because there are instances where people believe that I don't take responsibility for things um, when it is my responsibility, uh, and I'm sure I've done it once or twice, maybe 10 times, uh, where I have failed to take responsibility for something that was my responsibility. But when it comes to people in my real life, people that I encounter on a regular basis, they find I'm very apologetic or otherwise uh, responsible for my actions. Um, and I ask this of other people as well. To get to the point, let's say you're babysitting. You're babysitting someone else's kid, your own kid. Uh, let's say that you're a nanny or you're a hired babysitter or whatever. Um, let's say someone's kid dies. Uh, or they otherwise get seriously injured. Um, if the parents come home and, you know, the, uh, the nanny or whatever says that, hey, your kid fell off the couch and broke his leg, um, what the parents don't want to hear is that it wasn't your fault. When you are taking charge of a child, um, when you're responsible for them, I mean, it's kind of self-evident that anything that happens to that kid while on your watch is your fault. Uh, you could say, you know, uh, well, they were very careless and they stuck a fork in the electrical socket. If it was any other kid, they wouldn't electrocute themselves. Well, that's not the point. The point is, is that they're a kid and kids are not responsible for themselves to an extent. Uh, let's say you live in a house where there are knives sticking out from the walls, or your house is otherwise very, very unsafe for a child. If the child, let's say, runs around and then runs into one of the knife walls, are you gonna say, well, that stupid kid shouldn't have run into that wall, it wasn't my fault? No, you're gonna get in trouble because you had a dangerous environment for a child, and that resulted in the child being injured, okay? So if you're watching like just one kid, or just two kids, or three kids, or whatever, and you could have very well prevented their injury later and in life if you uh, had give, been given the opportunity again to correct it, then yeah, initially it was clearly your fault. And this is what a lot of you, a lot of you watching this have this problem where you did something or you're responsible for something and you refuse to take responsibility for it. And as a result, that infuriates the people you're dealing with. And you may wonder, why are they mad at you? It's not your fault, blah, blah, blah. They're mad at you because you're not showing that you're willing to change despite it being obvious that if circumstances were different, you could have done better. You could have prevented an injury or death. So really the point of this video is I just wanted to express to you guys that trying to remove fault from things that you're clearly responsible for, that shows a clear inability to grow. I know full-grown adults who are seemingly incapable of accepting responsibility. These people are almost twice my age. And it's just like almost everything is everyone else's fault. You know, I would understand if it were like a situation where you have a lot of friends and then you dump those friends and it's not your fault because you dump them. But if you're like the person who always gets dumped 
Or if you're like the person who always is very clearly the one who made the mistake because people are taking action against you, like for instance, you constantly get arrested and uh, it's not a result of some discrimination or anything, but it's just literally you just keep getting involved in crime. Clearly, there are situations where something is totally your fault, okay? Like if you're single at the age of 60 and you've been divorced four times, <sighs> I feel like that's, that's significantly on you, assuming you didn't cause every single divorce by filing yourself. Anyway, um, I was just hoping to encourage responsibility with this video and hopefully reminding you guys that we're all, you know, at fault for numerous things. We're all human. We all make mistakes and that's okay. But what's not okay is knowing damn well if you're put in the same situation, you could have prevented what happened from happening by making better decisions and acting like there's no way you could have done anything. You know damn well that if you knew now or knew then what you know now, you could have done something. Okay? So I don't care if, you know, it's something as small as a scratch on a child. I don't care if it's something as huge as them getting a disease from you know, some kind of needle that you've left out. You know, I, it's, it, the specifics are not the point. The point is, is that you had the ability to do something and you did nothing. You put a child in a dangerous situation and they were hurt, you know? And we need to take responsibility for that so we don't continue to let people get hurt on our watch when we are responsible for them. So, uh, this doesn't have any for certain real world parallels in the sense that there was no babysitter at, um, in real life that I'm talking about or anything like that. Um, but I did want to talk about this issue because it is important to talk about children and safety and being responsible adults, etc. And just the entire concept of taking responsibility for your own actions so you can grow as a human being and be a better person. If you ever want to know whether or not I have taken responsibility for my actions, just search for I'm sorry, Onision. <laughs> You'll find I've taken responsibility for numerous things, and I will definitely uh, put my money on me being a better person now than I was 10 years ago, okay? Like, people come to me and they say, you know, Onision, whoa, your past is so crazy. And I, I look at my past and I think, man, I had a lot of crazy people in my life, and sometimes I did crazy things, but I'm not going to take responsibility for other adults, I'm not going to take responsibility for other people doing illegal things or other people doing things that are totally inappropriate. I can only take responsibility for the things that I have done. And I know I have done some things. But fortunately, I've always been on the good side of the law, aside from beating up my dad when I was 15 and occasionally going over the speed limit like nine miles. Um, but... I prefer to think that I appreciate the law and I appreciate justice and I appreciate doing what's right as a former military police officer. So regardless, um, thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope that you guys felt this video. Um, I need to talk to you more. I'm sorry about that. I've just been really distracted and that's my fault, okay? And I'm gonna try to improve my relationship with you guys. So, again, thank you so much for watching and good space. We are not robots, we are not slaves, we are Banana Nation.